As you can see on our screen tonight, we do have team coverage on this tragedy, details of the deadly crash, and then the search for the suspect as well. We begin tonight live with our Kate Hussey in Port St. Lucie. Kate. Shannon, I can tell you we all felt the heaviness of today's briefing from law enforcement. We could see the grief in their eyes as they walked inside this building. We could hear the somber tone in their voice. We could feel the sadness in the air as we waited for them to speak. They lost one of their own, and today they somehow found the words to walk us through exactly how it happened. Surrounded by law enforcement, a heaviness in his step. David Kerner, executive director of the Florida Department of Highway Safety, tells us about how he and the agencies around him lost one of their own. Good afternoon, and thank you for your patience during this very difficult time. Kerner says at 2.40 a.m. Friday, a St. Lucie County deputy saw a white Kia driving recklessly, more than double the speed limit near West Midway Road. He says the Kia didn't stop when the deputy tried to pull him over, prompting a car chase. Just eight minutes later, at 2.48 a.m., Kerner says Highway Patrol Trooper Zachary Fink saw that same white Kia driving recklessly. And endangering the public. FHP Colonel Gary Howe says Fink started pursuing the Kia, which got onto the southbound lanes of I-95 near mile marker 120. At that point, he says the Kia made a U-turn to go the wrong way. Trooper Fink, an attempt to continue to apprehend the subject, and or warn unsuspecting motorists of the immediate danger in the area turned also. Howe says at that moment, Fink crashed his patrol car into an oncoming semi. The tractor trailer driver was killed in the accident while Trooper Fink was airlifted to HCA Florida Lawnwood. We're subsequently informed that we lost one of the members of the Florida Highway Patrol. Meanwhile, the white Kia kept going, the driver eventually crashing into a tree less than two miles away in the area of Brandywine Lane and Commerce Center Drive. He jumped out and ran on foot. After which a manhunt ensued. This massive manhunt continued for hours as even the U.S. Marshals searched by ground and by sky near the Castle Pines at PGA Village Community. It ended just after 8 a.m. when Port St. Lucie police announced they had detained one male suspect. I'm not able to talk at this time about the person that's in custody. House tells us the suspect isn't injured but for his 26 year old trooper and a truck driver doing his job. They won't be returning home to their families who expected them home long ago. And we recognize that and our thoughts and our prayers remain with the thanks. Now, as for the name of that truck driver, it has not been released as law enforcement tell us they are still working to notify his next of kin. Shannon.